All right, guys, welcome back. It is Pun Factor here, bringing you all the green white value town. Today, we're going to start playing a league. So, um, I'm going through some some different stuff with the list, and uh, it's really funny. I was reading a Facebook or Facebook a uh, a YouTube post, and I was watching a video about a guy who was playing uh, Green Black Rock, and he basically said. He came to the same conclusion that that I kind of came to a few days ago, which is, you know, the control matchup for mid range. I mean, control is just getting so powerful right now that I don't think even with some of the sideboard hate that we can bring in, like choke and things of that nature, I think the matchup is still just terrible. Um, and even even when we play choke, I feel like we pretty much still lose i mean there are some situations obviously where you know we we jam a choke and we can just kind of hate them out of the game but they have so many ways especially blue white they have so many ways of playing around it um and they also run a lot of lands that just aren't considered islands so i am going the way of dodging control um so a couple of things I've been tweaking around. Uh, you probably watched a few games where I played with Thalia, and I think Thalia is awesome. Um, I want to play test with her more, but I'm not. I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure on the card yet, um, as a whole. I might, I might still want to rock that uh, for sure. But one thing that I found. I really like having answers to uh, artifact enchantment removal game one, as well as some life gain. Um, I don't want to make our burn matchup worse, especially game one. Um, I don't like having to rely on winnings game two and three against burn. Um, you know, Knight of Autumn definitely stabilizes in that matchup. It, it helps us kind of turn that corner and uh, they run out of gas a little quicker with Knight of Autumn, obviously. So one thing I wanted to do, I wanted to go back um, to my original sort of idea. I dropped the Thalia. I didn't find myself missing Dramokas Command that much, um, actually at all. So because I'm not really siding for the control match, and because I think Voice of Resurgence is just an awesome card against midrange, um, I decided to add my fourth voice in. Um, I elected for the fourth voice over the additional skews because I feel like voice is more relevant um, in, in it's a little broader, right? So like voice, voice is just always a good card to essentially have out as a blocker um, because at the end of the day, you can block it and kill it and just have like a really big token uh, where skews mm -hmm. is great where skews is great, but when skews isn't relevant, it's a 2-2 two -two bear, and you just hate to see it. So I think I'm going to go with the fourth voice, and that also just kind of helps uh, with our control matchup a little bit um, because I'm neglecting to even think of that matchup um, when, I, when I made my sideboard. So the rest of the deck is the same that you guys are used to. I essentially just dropped one Dramokas command and added in a fourth voice. We're going to see how that goes. It also helps with our collected company hits, um, and even off of Coco, I'm never never sad to see a voice, really. Um, and I know I'm kind of a, kind of an outlier in that scenario, but I just, I think this card's really good. Um, so onto the sideboard, I definitely am packing for kind of the rest of the meta, um, barring obviously control, which we talked about. So I have my remorseful clerics because, uh, the Hogak, uh, deck is just insanely good. So, you know, bringing in remorseful cleric and stony silence and probably ee um, against that deck i think is fantastic also you can even uh, make an argument for bringing in the one of worship if you can kind of shut off their mill plan um with a stony silence or whatever it, it seems pretty solid um so yeah my i have my three remorseful clerics i have my three stony silences um two engineered explosives for obvious reasons i think three damping spheres right now um is, is kind of where I want to be. I want to make sure I can shut down Tron, um, you know, and not just have to rely on the, the uh, Ghost Quarter Excavator plan. Uh, also, Amulet Titan, things of that nature. Uh, have one Worship here. I just, I like Worship. I would like to have two. Uh, I just can't really find the slots for it. And I also have one Settle the Wreckage. Um, 
I find that, you know, against insane, crazy aggro decks, uh, we're just not fast enough. So I think settle, you know, for things like humans, um, even elves to uh, some extent, uh, settle, I think, is going to kind of come in handy. And we'll see how narrow this card ends up being. It might just be a little bit too narrow where we might already have a decent matchup uh, against some of these these decks that I would want to bring this in on. Um, so we'll, we'll see. Uh, but this is kind of what I'm, I'm thinking about right now. And I think I do have one thing I didn't add to this list. I do want to put my Blast Zone back in. Blast Zone, I take out one force for that. So I, I'm still running the four force, the two planes. Um, I like those. I, I don't want to get onto one planes. Um, I like having access to two. So then I have my two temple gardens and my full eight fetches. So we're going to jump in here to a league. And we're going to see how we do. Make sure that's the right one. Value town main with all the changes. Value town main. We're going to do play points. Join. Play league match. match. Recording. Fantastic. All right. So let's see how we do, guys. We are on the play. Um, the sand isn't spectacular, but we do have a turn two, turn one and turn two play. Um, if we're not disrupted, we can get to a Coco. Um, and we have all the mana to get there even if uh, our noble dies. So this is a keep. It's not the greatest keep in the world, definitely not that strong, but we'll see what we play against. Go figure. Playing against control. There's a knight. So let's go ahead and just lead on forest here. Forest noble. So we just talked about control, us ignoring that matchup, and we are probably going to be running against it. Okay. Just got. So it's nice that we have the voice in hand. Um, although in this, in this sort of matchup, I like having access to two voices. Just because typically the first one... Huh. It's not what I think it is. I have no idea what this is. So there's a path. So let's just go ahead and... Why don't we get our voice down? Because I don't want to run our knight into a bolt. So let's just go ahead and get our voice down here. We'll hold up Path to Exile. Probably should have tapped the Noble there instead of the Temple Garden. Um, just because the, the Noble's easier to get rid of. But that's okay. Teferi. So this is... Might be like the Feldor Guardian Sahili combo. Wonder if I want to path this. I think I do. Uh no, I don't. Whoop. I can't anyway because of Path to Exile, so. Or because of uh Teferi. Baby Teferi is stupidly good. So a couple things we can do here. We can play our noble and swing it to fairy, which is probably he's going to have to block or kill to fairy. I think that's probably the play actually. Because if we just get a knight out, like it just doesn't matter. Go ahead and go there. Let's swing at Teferi. Get rid of that. And then one nice thing is 
we can hold up path. Depending on what they loot in here. Okay. Got rid of a bunch of lands. Trying to think, what do we bring in against them? I don't even know what they're really doing. It probably is the Sahili. No. What is this? Okay, Jessica Ascendancy. Okay. Chess guy ascendancy. So why don't we play? You know what? Let's main phase collected company and see what we hit. That's actually perfect. The order here. Do we want a Bajuka Bog? Yeah, I want to get this Faithless Looting out of their grave or out of their uh, graveyard. Problem is though, then we can't hold up Path. So they revealed Jeskai Ascendancy. I think I would rather hold up path and then be able to shuffle away this courser. So the nice thing is whenever they drop this, we know that we have every cast knocker spell, you may draw a card. Okay, there's like there's a loop with this. Um we know we have a way of dealing with that enchantment. Which is nice. just be going off here so damping sphere is going to screw him up pretty bad let's take a look at what he is Bird. Yeah, Damping Sphere will definitely shut this down. I'm curious though, I just kind of want to see how he wins from here. Could also bring in uh, engineered explosives on two. Wait, if it... Uh... All right. 
Let's just let this happen. Or maybe we have to get rid of this thing. Yeah, let's let's get rid of this dumb card. I don't know what he's doing with it, but I don't like it. All right, so I think we're going to bring in Damping Spheres, and then we're also going to bring in uh, Engineer Explosives. Okay, run Noxious. There's no way for me to interact with their graveyard right now. Okay, I see what they're doing here. Just gonna make this thing huge and then, yeah, swing in with everything. So, warship might not also might also not be like too horrible. What's this? Expediate. Creature gains haste. There's a bolt. Let's see what Eglarian wishes for here. Pretty cool combo. Anamorphos. Faithless looting. What are we snagging here? Creature, target creature control deals damage with its power to any target. Mm. All right, that's fine. So, just guy ascendancy. We died. So, let's bring this in. They probably have an answer for that, but that's fine. And then let's bring those in. We can shave excavators. We can shave. So 
see trackers are beat down Coco gets us there Knight of Autumn's fantastic I do like scavenging news because they do use their graveyard let's take out voices let's take out excavators I don't hate remorseful cleric I probably like remorseful cleric more than Huh. Could drop a courser. And let's go down. Let's go down a bird. Okay, this is fine-ish. I probably should have mulliganed this hand, but this kind of does what uh, what our deck wants to do. Both the bird. Draw skews. get pressure out we really need to see an engineered explosives here soon basically put it on to I think it would have a very hard time winning if that were the case or a damping sphere so we have five cards that would just help tremendously Once again, I mean, I'm choosing to play out the night because we have Coco. I just want to get power into play. Kind of wish we had a fetch land. think here I didn't swing with the knight because I'm planning on blowing this forest up end of their term casting collected company but we're getting close for them to just kind of go off 
if they find what they need. All right, so let's go ahead. Activate this. Let's go grab a fetch land. Mm. Blast zone is a thing. Mm -hmm. Huh. Now let's just go ahead and get a fetch land for now. Wait a minute. But if they, if they have the ascendancy, it's okay, so if I get a blast zone, I'm just, I'm not used to playing with this card yet. If mm -hmm. I get a blast zone, I could put a charge counter on it. CMC two. Or CMC two. Could put two charge char char la 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 la. two charge counters on it. And then if I had to, I can blow it up. I think that's probably the safer bet, right? Put another charge counter on it. There's an EE. We can EE on two and blow it up this turn. Okay. So I can basically, if they get the ascendancy, I can, I can kill this. I mean, I'll kill my scavenging news as well, but it's fine. Okay, I don't need to cast spells this turn. Let's go ahead and blow this up. Right? Crap. He has a bird. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see if I can disrupt them with Bajuka Bog somehow. Is there anything I can do here? No. snag I'm basically just waiting to see if they have to bring something back from their graveyard. I think that's like my only shot. I'm not a thousand percent sure the cards they need to really go off. So he's going for it. What is nagging thoughts? Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Draw a card. So what do I want to get here? I could just like Bajuka bog them. Seems fine. path that doesn't matter. Let me think this through here before I do anything rational or irrational. Um, if I Coco, I'm hoping to hit and blow up their Jeskai Ascendancy. I think I Coco for sure. I think it's fine paying the life. Perfect. 
Let's get a Knight of Autumn first and foremost. We'll get another Knight of the Reliquary. And we're going to destroy that thing. Okay, perfect. Sheesh. Overall, I think I like how I'm boarding. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think like if we see a damping sphere, I mean, that's just going to be huge. If we have it in our opener, that will absolutely crush them. This hand is not keepable by any stretch. So let's mulligan that. Bottom that. I don't want to get onto five here. Um, it kind of sucks that we're not hitting any of our any of our sideboard pieces. That's good. So then next turn we can play a knight. Shock this and get it out of the way. Let's go ahead and play a knight. I would love to see a damping sphere. Metamorphos. I kind of hate to pop this collected company. It kind of sucks because typically the turn that they play that just guy ascendancy, it seems like that they start comboing off. I'd like to get rid of this bird. We'll see what we draw. So we have a couple options. Uh, Courser is definitely the weakest. We could play Tracker, Fetch Land. Um, we could Blast Zone 1, which doesn't seem that bad. Okay, there's an Ascendancy. Are they really going off this turn? Okay, so we have a decision to make. Ship. So I kind of feel like We play this past the turn. If we have to, we can actually blast zone because we can tap mana, blow it up, blast zone on one, and then blow it because it looks like he's going to be relying on the bird. So why don't we go ahead and play this and just pass turn. If he doesn't go off... We'll still probably do that. But we'll Coco first. I think that's probably the 
the way to do it because I don't think he's he's not going to be able to stop us from doing that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this right now. Okay. That couldn't have come at a better time. Fairy. Good card. He can bounce Stamping Sphere. Well, let's F6, see if he can do it. I think at the end of the day that like that was our only we wouldn't have played anything else I mean we only had two mana so the damping sphere he just had a Teferi so it is what it is I still think it's probably going to be hard for him to completely go off but I'm not I, maybe not no now that he has this thing never mind he's probably going to get there power in play right now. Man, that sucks. Very so good. Man. Like, that card is ridiculously good. Like... Such a good card. I think it's cool, though. I mean, as much as, like, I lose to Baby Teferi, which is a lot and very frequently, kind of all the time, um, he has me dead right now. He could just swing in. But it's fine. Um... It's cool that Dex, like, that card gave a lot of Dex legs that just did not have it before.
I mean, I'm like, I'm wondering, should I have companied to try to hit the just guy ascendant, or to try to hit the uh, knight to blow this up? I feel like though. I don't know. I felt like that line was solid. I mean, it was Teferi that just got him there, you know? Could you imagine playing this deck in paper? It would be the most like atrocious thing to try to keep track of. This would this would be worse than Storm. Like that would be so much worse than Storm. Um, all right, guys. Well, hey, he had the Teferi to bounce the Damping Sphere. It is what it is. Uh, I think I played. I think that line was probably correct with the blast zone to get rid of the uh, the bird. It required him to literally have a bird um, and a way to get rid of... Wait, I'm trying to think. He played the two birds. I blew them up. Then I dropped Damping Sphere. Yeah, I mean, it just required him to have answers because I, I think if I would have... He would have gone off that turn. I had to play... The blast zone. Um, I guess the only other play would have been to go with collected company to try to hit knight. But the problem with that, I mean, I only have two in the deck, and if I don't hit knight, we just auto lose. So I think that that was still probably the correct play. Um, but hey, it happens. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Uh, stay tuned for league match two. This is Punt Factor.